welcome back to the vlog. This is very exciting. This is my first vlog in, I think, well, a very long time in the shop and the shop is open. This is very, very exciting. Um, it does mean that I'm filming in between customers. So this might be a little bit more disjointed than normal. Um, and it also means that Lucy is tucked away in the corner over there working. So if you can hear any tip tapping on keyboards or order packing and stuff, that is what it is. Um, but I hope you are all really, really good. It feels lovely to be back chatting to you all. And I'm sorry that I have been away for so long. Um, as most of you will know, the UK has been, well, we're just coming to the end of a four month lockdown. So the shop has been shut for very nearly four months. Um, it has been a very long, very cold <laughs> um, and slightly dark winter, but we are coming through and the shop is looking really, really lovely. So um, I thought I would come back on, just do a little video to say hello to you, um, ease myself back into chatting to you all. Um, I want to show you uh, how the shop is looking and I thought I'd pick out a few of my favourite fabrics and a couple of my new favourite patterns that have come in just to give you a little taste um, of what we've got and then I'm really looking forward to get getting back into vlogging regularly for you all. So to start with I will show you what I'm wearing. So this is the Sage Brush Top by Friday Pattern Company who are actually one of my new favourite pattern companies. They've been around for quite a while, we've stocked quite a few of their patterns, um, but they are really, really knocking it out of the park with their patterns at the moment. They've got some really lovely new ones, um, and the Sagebrush Top is one of them. It's relatively new. Um, I actually can't take credit for this because Lucy made this um, as a sample, and it is beautifully done. You can see we've got a little frill there. So it's got this lovely frill across here, which I love. It's got puff sleeves um, with little elasticated cuffs. So if you want, you can sort of pull it up a bit higher and have it um, like that. It is, I've got it tucked in, but it is um, a little bit longer, you can see. So you can wear it out like that if you want. And then, just tuck myself back in. Um, it's also got a bias bound neck and a little tie at the back. I'll show you that. Really, really pretty. And it's a really nice sort of simple pattern that you um, can use to show off your fabric. And this is our Esmeralda viscose, which I love. And I've wanted something sewn up in this for so long. So I'm really pleased to have this. And Lucy's done such a beautiful job. I'm actually going to try and do some more in-depth pattern review videos. Um, and the sagebrush top is gonna be one of the first ones that I do. So watch out for that one. So yeah, really, really love that. Um, I will now take you on a little tour of the shop. Like I say, it's so nice to be back open again. It has felt really strange um, for us, I mean, for everyone in the whole wide world uh, over the last 12 months. And we've been closed more than we've been open, but I'm really, really hopeful now. Um, things are looking really positive um, with the vaccine and everything. I'm really, really hoping that this is the last time we have to make a comeback. <laughs> and um, hopefully we'll be able to open our studio for classes in another five, six weeks or so. So I'm very much looking forward to getting students back in and getting our lovely, beautiful studio open upstairs. For those of you that have been following um, for a little while, you'll remember that we used to have all of our shop and studio space upstairs. And then at the beginning of 2020, I expanded so that the shop came down here and the studio upstairs took over the whole space. So we've got a really beautiful, um, purpose-built sewing studio where we teach all of our classes but that did mean that we only opened it in January 2020 and the shop down here opened in 
February and then we had five weeks before um, the first uh, coronavirus lockdown hit so we haven't really had the chance to make the most of both of these beautiful spaces but I'm really really looking forward to the rest of this year and how um, things are going to pan out now that we can welcome customers and hopefully soon students back in. But I will take you on a tour of the shop. You can see we've got so many beautiful fabrics in. We've got the lovely sample rail. Um, there are a few new samples out on the mannequins. I think you'll probably have seen a lot of these. I did do a lovely indigo dress, double gauze, um, and Heather in our bright blue Beatrice Ponty, royal blue, I love that. I did a video, a vlog a little while ago, quite a while ago now, um, with a load of the shop samples. I tried some of them on and I showed you what they look like sewn up. So I'll try and link that up here or down in the comments box below so that you can see them. But um, I'm gonna move the camera around now and hopefully not make you too dizzy. So, here's the lovely shop, all pink outside and inside, we've got our lovely mannequins, we've got some new kits in, these really cute little craft kits I love from the Make Arcade and these lovely sewing boxes, I really like these. Um, as well as our usual haberdashery. All the beautiful prim bits and some more over here. Do you know, it's so strange guys because there's people in the cafe courtyard out there, um, which is the first time in many, many months that we've been here <laughs> that there's been anyone here. It's so surreal. Um, and then we've got loads of beautiful fabrics. Our lovely denims all the delicious atelier brunettes and these are lovely some really cozy lovely colored ponties got all of our bias bindings there's loads in here we've got lots of um pattern one plain one plain ones we've got the atelier brunette matching bindings of our elastics Look at this lovely well-dressed mannequin. <laughs> it's always slightly strange when I see them dressed up wearing my clothes. Um, this is an avid seamstress blouse and that's just I'm afraid a ready-to-wear skirt um, that I paired with her. Is this is me. Hello! <laughs> and we've got this beautiful sample which is actually Lucy's dress, which she's let me steal and put on the mannequin. This is, again, a sagebrush top. Ooh, dropped part of the tripod, the same as I'm wearing, but lengthened down into a dress. Again, I'll talk about that in more detail another time. But uh, that fabric is our Anastasia Rayon linen mix, which is so beautiful. Lots more patterns. And then we've stocked up our pattern shelves with lots. We've got our closet case, all our Tilly patterns, sorry, closet core now, some really lovely ones. Um, True Bias, Poppy and Jazz, Kitty's patterns, Deer and Doe, Friday Pattern Company, Avid Seamstress. Um, some of the Liesl & Co patterns. And then down there we've got Cashmerette, Megan Nielsen, Grain Line Studios. Who else have we got there? Nina Lee, So Over It. Um, we've got loads. I will show you some of my current favorites in detail in a minute. And then we have got, oh, this is the, a little gap there because I was showing someone this a minute ago. This is the Anastasia uh, rayon linen I was talking about. Really beautiful. Uh, these are stunning art gallery rayons. So lovely. We've got loads of really nice rayons and um, cotton lawns and things in for summer. These are really amazing cotton prints. 
So these are, some of these are art gallery, some of these aren't, um, they're all really, really high quality. You can make dressmaking projects with them as well as things like cushions, bags, quilts, etc. Um, they sew up beautifully, really lovely. I really, really like these. Um, and then we've got lots of jerseys. Look at that amazing galaxy print up there. Uh, those striped premium cotton jerseys at the top you might have spotted the eagle-eyed among you might have spotted a cocoa sample out the front of the shop sewn up in that that's a really nice new pattern from um, True Bias these ones got some remnants some more, more jerseys can you spot some of my old favourites that we've restocked? This one, love this, this one, this one, so gorgeous. And then some of the more solid colours down there. A few more tucked under there. So yeah, the shop is looking really lovely. We've got new stuff coming in all the time. Some new samples being made up and I'm so, so happy to have it back open. I just set myself a really hard challenge of picking out five um, of the fabrics that I love and matching them with five patterns. That was so hard because obviously I love all the fabrics and patterns that are in the shop because I pick them all myself. Um, but I have picked five fabrics and five patterns and I'm going to show you how I would pair them. So the first fabric that I've got to show you is this really cool um, viscose crepe which is it's just called Czech blue sorry Czech crepe viscose um, in blue we also have it in black this is a dead stock fabric which means um, it has been used by a retailer to make garments at some point in the past and then um, has been sold on and we have picked up um, a couple of bolts of it which means once it's gone it's gone we can't get it back in um, I'm hoping that the light always goes a little bit yellowy when I um, cover the camera entirely because it's trying to balance out the colors but you can see that lovely soft blue and the even checks I'd say they're about sort of two and a half three centimeters square um, this has got a really lovely sort of silky crepe feel to it because it's um, a viscose but it's woven with a slightly crepe finish um, it just feels really really lovely quality really lovely i really like this one and so we've got it in black as well i think it's so on trend um and i have chosen to pair this with a bit of a classic now this one this is the friday pattern company wilder gown uh, which has got a couple of tiered options so you could go for the full three tiers like there is on the front or you can do slightly pared down version um, but these smock dresses are so on trend they're so easy to wear you can pair them with tights and boots layer them up you can wear them in the summer with sandals so i think that pattern and this fabric are a really really lovely match i'd love to see um, those sewn up next up i've gone for a jersey pattern um and i have picked one of the newer art gallery cotton jerseys in a really funky print this is called ii and obviously you guys know how much i love the art gallery fabrics the quality is just superior um it really is uh, really lovely weight nice handle drape um, and feel to it the colors always really really lovely um, and rich and um, they've got good stretch to them really good recovery so it was ping back and they wash really well I've got so many art gallery um, tops and t-shirts that um, just wash again and again and again and they always come out really nicely so yeah I thought this was quite a funky cool print um, you can see you've got the different color eyes on there really like that one 
so cool a little bit different and i have paired it with a new pattern for us which is the true bias rio um top or dress so it's got a dress option which i really like so you can lengthen it down they've already done that for you and then it's got this almost i suppose would you say baseball style they call it a ringer style t-shirt um which i think maybe quite similar to baseball style so you've got um separate neck band piece and uh sleeve cuffs which you can do contrasting like she's done here or you could just use the same um as your main fabric if you don't want to make a feature of them so if you did want to you could maybe do a white or a black um contrasting band we've got the plain colored cotton jerseys, Francesca cotton jerseys, and we've also got slightly heavier um, French terry as well in the colours that you can see down here. Um, and I just think that's a really, really nice. I would quite like a dress version in that, and I could see it being worn with like white trainers and stuff in the summer. Um, really love that one. And then, I like this, this is really getting my brain thinking about patterns and fabrics. I have picked, I'll show you the pattern first. This one um, has been around for ages, but I really love it. I've seen so many gorgeous versions. This is the Deer and Doe Hoya blouse. So they call it a blouse, but I mean, I don't know. Mock wrap straight blouse with lapels and lined front. Version A has short sleeves, version B has three quarter length sleeves and sleeve tabs. So you can see the different options. I love this sort of crossover faux wrap. I really, really like it. Um, and again, I think it's quite a similar length to this top, so it could be tucked in if you wanted to. Um, and I have paired this with a cotton lawn, which I'm absolutely in love with. I've actually got a top, a ready to wear top, made up in a very similar fabric, very similar colors, and I adore it. Um, so this one, I think what we've called this one, this is Esme, um, and you can see, you guys know I love a floral, um, this is pink and green on a black base, it's really nice um, kind of transitional colours, spring, summer, um, the cotton lawn is so lovely, it's crisp, you can hear because it's 100% cotton, but it's lightweight, it's not sheer, not see-through, it's completely opaque, so it'd be perfect for dresses as well. Um, it's got a really, really silky soft finish to it. So I love cotton lawn, it's so nice to work with because you've got that kind of in-between feeling where it's lightweight and drapey enough to have a little bit of movement, but it's not as slippy and slidey as a viscose or a rayon, and it just presses so nicely it does as it's told it behaves well so if you're a beginner or you're learning cotton lawn is a really lovely fabric to work with um, or if you're not a beginner and you just want to make something in a cotton um, lawn is really really lovely it's always a little bit softer and lighter than poplin and quilting weight cottons etc so yeah I think lovely blouse sewn up in that um, but as I say because it is um, a really nice way it would also be lovely as a dress now I'm thinking oh what dress pattern can I pair with this but I'm gonna put those with those for now before I get distracted um, and then do you know today I'm filming this on the day that the shop reopened which is the 12th of April 2021 and this morning here in Berkshire where we are we woke up to heavy snowfall settling heavy snow I did actually think it was some sort of joke but no no so it's warmed up a bit now we've had the heaters blasting in the shop um, for the last few hours and it's thawed out outside but it was freezing this morning um, so I'm actually still being drawn to cozy cozy makes and wears I'm only wearing this because it's opening day and I <laughs> tried on two different thermal tops underneath this before I put this on. Um, I would much rather, if I'm being truly honest, be wrapped up in something very warm and cosy. Um, so I have picked out our cable knit Ponty. Uh, we've got it in some really nice spring colours like this heather purple. It's a really lovely light soft purple. You can see it's got this cable um, jacquard pattern woven in 
really nice medium weight um, fabric, nice stretch. So it's again, it's cozy, but without being super, super heavy, it's not um, really, really thick. So I would definitely say this is really good for sort of transitional um, spring um, autumnal makes lost my words then um, but it's not gonna make you really really hot and I have paired this with Dilly and the Buttons Billy um, which is um, I think this pattern's a few months old now but it's um, got these lovely balloon sleeves you've got top option so you can make a sweater and to be honest in this country <laughs> Um, it, you always need sweatshirts to hand because you never know what the weather's going to do. Um, and then there's also a dress option as well. And again, you can do sort of contrasting cuffs or matching cuffs um, like she's done there. And there's the dress version. I think that sewn up in this would be really, really lovely because um, you can stay warm, but you don't have to wear dark colours because it's actually coming into sort of spring, summer really like that my final and possibly favorite um although i love all the ones i've already shown you um pairing i'll show you the fabric first it is so beautiful it's um one of the atelier brunette um viscoses it's one of their new um design range this is um so it's the seed visco and it's the echo vero no, it's not. It's their Eco Vero viscose. <laughs> eco, as in um, eco-friendly. So it's their more environmentally friendly produced, sustainably produced viscose. Um, and you know they do the really classic prints, which I love. You've probably seen a few of them on the mannequins. Um, really nice. Um, the moonstone and the twig. Um, really timeless classic prints. Well, the seed range is another one of those. You can see it's got almost like, I think they're dandelion seeds. They're supposed to be dandelion seeds. They almost look a bit like acorns as well. Um, but yeah, it's a really subtle, timeless print. The fabric is so soft. Um, it's 100% viscose. So, so again, really drapey and soft. So, so soft. I've got a Avid Seamstress, bla Avid Seamstress blouse sewn up in the moon. I'm literally looking at it right now, which is why I'm pointing at it. Um, sewn up in their moonstone viscose and it feels so beautiful to wear. Um, but this colour, it's called um, cedar. Is it called cedar? I'm just checking. Yes, you can see I'm out of practice. I can't remember what all the names are. When I've been serving customers today, I keep having to triple check everything because I can't remember what we've called things. Um, yeah, I just really, really love this colour. I think it is beautiful um, and you could kind of wear it all year round. The pattern that I have paired it with is um, another one that I'm slightly in love with and it's a new or new to us pattern from Closet Core. So I have to keep stopping myself because these guys used to be called Closet Case patterns, but they're now called Closet Core patterns, i.e. the staple patterns in the core of your closet. Um, and this is the Elodie wrap dress. Isn't that beautiful? It's got grown on sleeves, really nice, um, simple, but really wearable design. You've got a shorter version, you've got a longer version with slightly longer sleeves. It's got um, the nice waist ties and then uh, pleats under the bust. Really, really like that. And then you've obviously got the option for packed pockets as well. And I think that and that would go together so beautifully. So much so, in fact, that I'm thinking, mm -hmm. Maybe some of this will come home with me. Um, I shouldn't say that because I've already got a quite a large pile of stuff at home that I should be sewing up, but yeah, really beautiful. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing the shop coming back to life. It has been lovely. I've actually been filming this over a period of about four hours. So I'm sorry if I've rambled or repeated myself. I'll try and cut anything out like that in the edit, but um, 
we've had customers coming in and it has been so good to see and chat to people, talk about sewing, talk about what everyone's been up to and just, yeah, let people come in and feel the fabrics. Um, it's been really, really nice. So it's been a lovely day and I'm really glad that I've managed to fit in some time to chat to you guys. All of the fabrics and patterns that I've mentioned will be linked down in the comments box down below. Um, and obviously if you enjoyed the video, do um, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already. I did notice that we have now um, hit 16,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you so much, especially considering how sporadic my vlogs have been over the last year, but thank you for sticking with me. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway very shortly on this channel um, to say thank you for subscribing so keep your eyes peeled for that one too but I hope you're all really really good I hope you have a really lovely rest of the week and I will see you again really soon take care guys bye <laughs>